Welcome back to the Tried Truth. My name is Mike. Today I'm going to review and do an unboxing first impression of Mancera's Oud Lemon Mint. I was really excited to get this. It finally arrived yesterday on a Sunday. Um, so fragrancenet.com. Um, you know, the delay that I got was in processing. It was like two or three days. But when they did ship it, it came very fast. In fact, uh, when they said it would arrive on a Sunday, I was impressed with that. Um, so <clears throat> I watched a couple of reviews on this one, uh, Curly Fragrance. She really talked it up. Um, and then I started watching other reviews on it. I have a couple of other uh, Mancera fragrances. So, um, you know, I, I was easily convinced that this could be something that uh, I would like. Um, However, uh, one fragrance that I bought from Mancera before, this guy right here, uh, Red Tobacco, um, it is done very well. It is a great fragrance and all that. It's just something that I'll probably never wear. Uh, maybe on the coldest of winter days, but I don't think I'd wear it out. Uh, in fact, I'll probably never wear it, and I'll be honest with you there. And I paid quite a bit for this. I think it was over $100. Anyway, um, but then there's this one that I actually wore to church yesterday. Awesome. Cedra Boise. Um, th this is great stuff. It's, it's like a, <clears throat> an orange vanilla floral woody bomb. Like, and, and it's really, um, it's really aromatic. So like this one has a, a nice sillage, uh, scent bubble, scent trail. I caught a lot of whiffs of it while I was work, um, while I was in church yesterday. I could definitely <clears throat> smell that one, and and it's nice, it's pleasant. So anyway, so today, like I said, first impressions here. Before I open it up and uh, give you my take on it, um, real quick, it's uh, the accords of this fragrance, Mancera's Oud Lemon Mint, are uh, citrus oud, almond, aromatic vanilla. Um, Nutty, fruity, sweet, woody, and patchouli. Um, so, uh, as far as that goes, I guess a lot of people are saying this is a warmer weather fragrance. Like, I guess you can wear it moderately in the winter, uh, but mostly spring and summer. <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, fall, um, day or night. And um, as far as like or dislike, mostly like and love. Um, a few people don't like it. Anyway, real quick, um, Oud Lemon Mint by Mincera is a woody aromatic fragrance for women and men, so I guess it's unisex. Like a lot of the Mancera fragrances are uh, kind of, you know, they go for that unisex uh, market. So it was launched in 2016, so I'm late on this one. But uh, again, as far as the higher end fragrances, not that $100 is high end. I think I, I, think I paid about $135. $125, $135 for it, but uh, there was a really good sale going on on um, Fragrance Net, so 37% off, and I think I ordered three bottles, um, different stuff, so so anyway, we already know what the notes are, and um, so actually, the top notes of this are lemon, almond, mandarin, orange, pepper, and coriander. The mid is agarwood, which is where they get the oud from. And then patchouli and Egyptian jasmine. And then at base is vanilla, amber, leather, vetiver, and musk. Okay. Interesting. Um, it is very long-lasting. Some people say eternal. Mancera fragrances generally do hang out a while. Um, they're strong. I think they're perfume concentration. Um, in fact, let me see. Um, I, it doesn't say. Uh, I'm sure it does somewhere. But uh, I don't really care. I, here's my main thing. I just want to see what it smells like. So if you've had any of these before, the boxes are very nice. Uh, gold, gilded, and um, perforated uh, icons and stuff like that on there. Uh, all your information that you need, badge code, everything's there. Um, should come with a golden pouch. It's the ones I've gotten in the past have. So, and it does. And I need... A couple of these for some things I use at work so all right oh wow first time I've uh, got a magnetic cap from Mancera but yeah 
Okay. So these are actually screw down tabs. You have to screw unscrew this part to get to the the push button sprayer. So anyway, here we go. First impression. This is the bottle. Very nice bottle. Um, these are all around four ounces, 125 ml, I believe, something like that. Actually, for some weird reason, and I think it's because of this golden uh, piece at the bottom, the red tobacco stands a little taller, um, but it's the same amount of perfume in there. Anyway, again, unisex fragrance here, um, but uh, I'm definitely excited to smell this one, guys. So one in the air, one on the wrist, all right, let's give it a second. It's, it's certainly unique, in fact, I got to tell you, wait a minute, before, I was going to say I don't have anything like this, but hold on a second. Wow. It's got a darkness to it. I'll be honest with you. It's, it's not the bright, uh, fresh opening that I thought I was going to get with it. The, um, the, the oud really levels it. And, uh, you know, with all that citrus going on, you would think, Right off, you would get just this burst of citrus, but uh, the oud steps in immediately and just calms everything right down. This is uh, this is really nice. I'll be honest with you, though. Said Raboise, I like it even better than this, but um, I don't dislike this. Um, I'm going to have to give it a formal wearing, you know. Maybe I'll wear it today and go from there, but, uh, you know... Um, I'll be honest with you, if I would have smelled this one before I bought it, I probably wouldn't have pulled the trigger on it. I'd have probably went with Orange Crush um, by Mancera. Um, but this one, it's it's really not bad. But I'll tell you what it reminds me of. Okay, and not that it's like it. But it, well... I almost don't want to say it because I'm sure that someone in the comments is going to tear me up over it, but okay, I'll tell you why it reminds me of it. It reminds me of Ultra Male by Lamal, and the reason is the syrupiness, not that it smells like it, but then there's this uh, syrupiness and almost this bubblegum thing going on a little bit. But uh, I will say this about it. it. It's pleasant. It's it's a mature fragrance. Um, and uh, it's really not bad. I mean, it's just like, but for the money, around $100, there's so much stuff out there that you can get. I mean, a little over 100 for this. Um, there's so much stuff out there. Um, like I said, I wish I would have got a, um, a sample. So I'm, I'm going to tell you now, don't blind buy this fragrance. But it is unique, like it stands by itself. Like I don't have a whole lot that smells like this, even though I said that uh, the Ultra Male, <laughs> I'm pointing over there, that's where my fragrances are. The, it does kind of remind me of that because of the heavy syrupiness that I'm picking up. But it, it is good. You know, I, I'm, I don't know, man, guys. I don't really know what to say. Um, Sometimes, in fact, every time with Mancera fragrances, they they tend to get better um, as the mid comes in and they start to dry down. So hopefully that's the case. Um, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, give it a few minutes, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, guys, it's been about 35 minutes, and this is what I know, you know, after, you know, a half hour or so. I went outside, I let, you know, the wind catch it, and um, it's nice. It, it got better, um, it did get better, but I'm going to tell you this, okay? Um, 
It's a great fragrance. I don't think this is going to be mass appealing. I don't think younger people are going to like it a whole lot. Uh, I think it's for the more experienced um, wearer. And I think this one is designed more for the person wearing it so that you'll enjoy it. Now, that being said, when the wind catches this and you get those whiffs of it, it smells nice in the air too. Um, I think mature people are going to have a lot more respect for this one. Um, again, let me show you the bottle. You know, here's here's my take on it. Mostly, you get that citrus, that, that lemon. It's almost got a cotton candy vibe to it. And, and, and a lemon. If, le, if, there, if you could get your hands on lemon cotton candy, I don't think that exists. But if you could get lemon cotton candy, that would be what this smells like. That, exactly. Because it's very a sweet. And, and it, I know there's an almond note in here. Um, and, and then the wood just balances it out. So let's say um, that one of the stigmas in fragrance world is when you mention pledge. But let me tell you why I'm saying that. Because of the woody and lemon notes in here, you get that kind of pledge feel to it. Almost like Club Dinui, Club Dinui Intense Man, I have a hard time saying that, by Armoff. But that one's a lot more fruity than this one. This one's just the lemon. And the lemon is subtle compared to the wood in this. So like the Armoff fragrance I just mentioned, Club Dinui Intense Man, that has a lot more citrus than this does, um, even though the one of the first notes they mention is the lemon in, in this, and it's even in the name. It's not as noticeable as some of the other notes. So, like I said, mostly you pick up on the wood and that sweetness. I can't imagine what's making this so sweet. Let me go back to the notes real quick here. What is making this so sweet? That's what I'm kind of trying to figure out here. So, you know, you got mandarin, orange, and lemon. It could be the almond. Um, but then there's vetiver, leather, and musk. Probably the musk and the mandarin orange. But then there's pepper and coriander. I, I'm telling you, this one is, it's, it's kind of like I can't even figure out how they, how they did it. It's got to be synthetic, mo mostly. Um, something in there just drives it towards this sweetness, and I can't figure out how they've done it. But... Yeah, it's, it's a heavier, sweet, you get that lemon at first, mandarin orange. And it's still there, it's just kind of drowned it out by the woody oud. Um, so anyway, um, approach this one with caution. I'd try to get a sample before I bought it. It's not bad. Um, I'd say about a 6 out of 10 overall. Uh, and I, obviously performance with Mancera fragrances without a doubt. I mean, I did read some of the reviews on it. And here's the thing, they're either drastically negative or drastically positive. I didn't see very many in between, no no middle ground. And when I did see a middle ground, it was, yeah, it's okay, uh, uh, you know, I'll, I'll pass, whatever, things like that. But uh, for the most part, my take on it is I like it, but I would probably reach right past this, go for the uh, Mancera Blue um, or the Mancera uh, definitely uh, Orange Crush, Cedra Boise. In fact, Orange Crush would probably be the next one I get. So I'll just finish this review off like that and tell you, just don't blind buy it. It's not a bad offering. It It's good. Um, it's just, you know, with me, I, I don't know. Um, it's not all about mass appealing for me, but... Um, you know, I'm not going to, when I go for the fragrance I want to wear, I don't care about the artsy fartsy stuff. I don't care about all that stuff that, you know, like Kuros, I can wear Kuros and I like it, but like, I don't normally wear it because I know no one else likes it. And it's like, what's the point if, if you, if you're putting on a fragrance that, you know, nobody else is going to like, but I do think people will like this one, but I don't think they're going to like it as much as they like Cedra Boise. In fact, this, um, this is at least 60, 70% better than this in every way. So um, if you're looking for a Mancera fragrance, I would go for this one, Cedra Boise. Um, but uh, if you're more experienced and you just want something different, 
than everything else you have, check this one out. We'll stop there, guys. Uh, anyway, thanks for stopping by.